I'm an Italian chef that from Italy, I moved all the way to Texas to work for the very best barbecue restaurant in business, to master the craft of barbecue. Now I'll teach barbecue worldwide. My name is Max and this is Texicana Barbecue. What's up everybody, Texicana Barbecue. Thank God you're back in Texas, Austin, Texas. And we're here talking about a little bit of the backyard model of Bison Smoker. Bison Smoker, in a, in a minute you will, I will introduce you to the owner in every single detail. He put a lot of love in this, in this little smoker. This is a back hair mother. We are a mom food. And those one, there are two 1,000 gallon uh, uh, bison smoker. Mom food, super cool place. Guys, if you don't know about this place, uh, it, it, it opened recently. And, and the, they had, the rumors is had the best pastrami. And pastrami is becoming a thing over here in Austin. It's getting as popular as, as brisket. Uh, and especially, they make their sourdough. How they know they make the sourdough? For two reasons. One, because there is a sign there, and two, because I saw the guy making it, so it's real. Here's Thomas, the proud owner of Bison Smoker. Thomas, so where, where are you from? Where did, where you build this pit to begin with? Which city? In Forney, Texas. Forney, Texas. You've been in business. Tell, tell something about uh, yourself. So you teach welding class? Because I, I, yes, know, I noticed him the first time. Was an, I was an article the Texas Monthly, right? Yes, sir. Where they mention this guy, this welder, teaching. Tell, tell something about it. Uh, I actually teach uh, at Forney High School for Forney Independent School District. And I also teach uh, night classes for Dallas College, uh, college classes at night. Um, but I have my own smoker shop. Uh, probably about 10 minutes away from the school where all the all the guys that work for me are former students. Oh, so those, they're, they're learning this, the, the they're craft learning and I also make this one. Yes, sir. Oh, I see. Okay, so what can you tell us about this specific backyard model? Is it your first backyard model? Have you have you done backyard model before? No, this, this, this is probably our 15th pit yeah. we've done backyard. We've done them in a hundred gallon, which is about a four footer. We've done them in about a hundred and twenty gallon, which is a five footer. Uh, we got two on order right now. They're six footers, so they'll be basically a hundred and fifty gallon pit. The reason, the reason why we we build these with pipe and versus using a propane tank, the smaller propane tanks, the wall thickness is very thin. So that's why we every every one of our backyard models is made out of three inch three eighths inch wall thickness pipe yeah gotcha. so okay now so from here okay you can stop kind of let's talk about this backyard models firebox it starts out its life as a 20 inch by 3 8 inch wall pipe and what what we do different than, than a lot of other backyard models is the length of our firebox it's not 24 it's 26 and a half inches and uh, with with uh, consulting with with max over the last three or four years we found out that this is the best length to get the optimal fire the fire management in these these uh these smaller units and and with that length and adding a a throat dampener i think it's really gonna gonna change how people be able to work with these smaller units all right what we have here is a, a 24 inch by three inch inch wall thickness pipe uh, that is on the cooking chamber and the, the firebox down on this end is a 20 inch pipe diameter by 3 8 thickness wall. All our hinges are made uh, in house and what we do is we use uh, like an impregnated oil bronze uh, fittings. So, so there's less friction with the hinges. So it's a lot more smoother operation. So it's not metal on metal. We use that on our firebox hinges and the cooking door hinges. Inside the, the actual door, we put what we call a door gusset. And it's all made out of quarter inch uh, mild steel. What that does, it helps keep the, uh, the shape of the door once you cut it open, because most of this pipe will have a, some type of memory. So when you cut it, it's gonna to wanna to spring just a little bit. I mean, some might spring more than others, but generally on a 24 inch pipe, there's not a whole lot of spring, 
but we still use the gussets because we want to we want to keep the door as tight on the on the cooking chamber as possible to the inside of the cooking chamber uh we want to show you the every pit comes standard with a water pan shelf slash deflector plate uh, but what we are adding teaming up with max at texacana we're going to add a, a new throat dampener that's going to be down here at the throat and can be operated from the outside and that's going to really change how somebody can uh, create the airflow where they want it to go um, and then you know as you see if like you see in some of max's videos you'll see right here when it's coming out of the firebox he'll add a piece of wood or two right here to deflect the heat from what he's got going on here meat wise so we're, we're coming up with a new slide in and slide out uh, what we'll call a meat deflector um, and it's going to be pretty cool uh, working with him we think that's going to be a, a kind of a game changer on that coming out here on the outside of the cooking chamber these are our custom tell true uh, thermometers from tell true manufacturing uh, those people are really great to work with uh, best customer service in almost in any business that i've experienced and we want to talk a little bit more about this what we call our stack cradle and then our handles and these uh these gussets in the doors this is all laser cut on a fiber optic laser machine it's about a about a two million dollar machine and uh we get all all these all these handles and these flanges uh, everything you see on the back of the fire body it's all cut out by uh cnc laser let's talk about this exhaust a little more uh, basically what you what it starts out to be is it's a it's a six inch long radius 90 degree uh, elbow and on top of that you have a six by four concentric reducer which goes into four inch schedule 40 pipe with a quarter inch uh, thick dampener on top this is all one and a half inch square tubing and it's all cut out on a tube laser so it's all all the joints are tab and slot so it's a perfect fit so it ensures a, a very square level uh, you know base for the main uh, part of the pit um, and what we do is we use eight inch uh eight inch scaffolding catheter and the reason why we are in the middle of a hosting and it's hot as hell with this with this back here pit is because What's a year ago? Two years yeah, ago? Yeah, about two. About two years ago. So, guys, don't worry about it because the waiting list for this mocker will be much shorter. But uh, two years ago, he won a little raffle. We call it a raffle, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Sorry, I'm Italian. My day, my dictionary doesn't stretch that much. So, we did a raffle and he won. He was the he was the lucky winner. And and actually, with Justin, oh, I took another video well, in your house, right? Yeah, the 250 Mobile. 250 Mobile, that's right. Yeah. And what we done? The, 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 I can't remember. All right, we could try tip. Yeah, we could try tip. We could try tip. It's gotta be somewhere in the, on my YouTube channel. Anyway, so he won it. Uh, he has to wait a little bit, but he's getting a smoker for free. And uh, it's a hell of a smoker. Va bene. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, awesome. And that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want to stay up to date on my barbecue trips worldwide, follow me on Instagram and YouTube. In the next few weeks, I'll be all over the world in my barbecue tour, Mr. Worldwide, Caracas, Venezuela, Rome, Italy, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Dubai, Perth, Australia, Durban, South Africa, basically everywhere, like Johnny Cash. God bless y'all, like, subscribe, and stay moist. Ciao!